Hello, it is Divine Needle. My name is Nell. I will be doing a Celt Cross reading for Virgo. Yes, I shuffled this deck with your energy into it. And uh, yeah, I will do a reading for you. I also shuffle a angel card for you. Yeah, <clears throat> it will be a little bonus. Uh, I do believe these readings are timeless. So whenever it reaches you, I do believe it's your time to watch it. So here we go, Virgo. Here we go, Virgo. Yes. Let's see what comes out for you. What's the current situation for Virgo? What is the current situation for Virgo? Okay, that one wanted to go, so I will take it. Ten of Wands. What's the challenge with this Ten of Wands energy for Virgo? Our fans. Cool. What's been going down in the recent past for Virgo? What happened in the recent past for Virgo? What happened in the recent past for Virgo? Okay. Chariot. Gonna go down in the near future for Virgo. What will happen in the near future? Oh wow. Okay, that's cool. Star card. Cool. I would like some star card energy. Yeah, for sure. Who doesn't, right? Who does not? Okay. What's going on in the conscious mind for Virgo? What's going on in the conscious mind? Kill. Knight of Wands. What's going on in the subconscious for Virgo? What's the subconscious trying to tell Virgo? Okay, that one want to go. Magician. Yeah. Okay. How do you see yourself, Virgo, or want to see yourself? Four of coins. That was quick, right? Okay. How do others see you or want to see you? How do others see Virgo or want to see them? Page of Cups. Cute. Hopes and fears for Virgo. What's the hopes and fears for Virgo? Mm. Yeah. Five of Cups. And it's going to be the final outcome for Virgo. It will be the final outcome. Ooh. Okay. Two popped out. Three of Swords. And the Moon Cards. Okay, everything went awesome until the final outcome. Hmm, what about that, right? Yeah. That's still in the story. Bottom of the deck energy, underlying energy. Queen of coins, enjoying your abundance, being very emotional, okay? Enjoying your material world, yeah. Also, kind of muttering energy, taking care of your home kind of energy. Okay. But yeah, very much abundance. Okay. The theme is abundance. It's so. all very lovingly. Okay. Current situation. Could be that you have a lot of stuff on your plate right now, or you are ready to release those, um, yeah, burdens. Yeah, it could be burdens, but could be a lot of projects on your plate right now okay yeah if that is a release I do not really see it that way in that position okay but um, definitely a lot on your plate it doesn't mean bad but it's busy it's a very busy energy okay the challenge we keep that up Believing in yourself. Believe
believing in the situation that it all will work out yeah that's kind of a challenging energy for you right now okay Virgo um, that's a belief uh, yeah that you're gonna you're gonna be good enough to keep it up yeah, yeah. that's what crosses that okay belief in situation oh, I just had some pop up okay Recent past, you were in control. You were very much um, having a balanced movement, okay? There's been some clicking in the wheel. You have taken charge and with your chest out, okay? Very, how you call that again? I always forget that word. Very confident approach. Also, very childlike approach, okay? Like, uh, the feeling is... Not even sure what you're doing, but you're doing it. <laughs> kind of energy. Yeah. Very confident approach to the situation. Whatever that situation might be for you. This could be in the career. Uh, love. Uh, do sense it's more of a career sense. This reading. Yeah. Balance movement forward. That was awesome. Which brought up a lot of... Uh, projects a lot of stuff in your life a lot of stuff in your plate right in your near future <clears throat> this could indicate a wish fulfillment okay um, could also indicate healing in some way this could be hurts from the past healing from those hurts okay but I do feel it's leading more towards a uh, yeah a wish fulfillment in some way I feel it's career rise. Yeah, I do not know why, but I feel it's career. Yeah. If you saw my last reading on Virgo, yeah. It was like a person trying to disrupt that. Okay, so now it might be that you're done with that person. I'm not sure. Go check out that reading too, if you feel like doing that. Okay. Current situation, what you're focused on right now. Making it happen. Yeah. Taking action. Yep. Not just thinking about it. Actually doing it. This is the major, the biggest do cards in the deck. To me. It's my favorite card. Uh, yeah. It's action. A very masculine energy to me. Uh, Making it happen, making those bucks, yeah, making those decisions too, if need be, yeah. Taking action, go. And keep it up, because in the subconscious, the advice, we have the magician making it happen, manifest it. Take steps to manifest it in your life, whatever it is for you, yeah, make it happen. And you are making it happen, so keep it up. Yeah, if you are doing this, right? Keep it up. How do you see yourself or want to see yourself? You see yourself as holding on. This could be things from the past. This could indicate a lover too. Um, but yeah, holding on to something. Yeah, that's you hold dear. It is going, so it could be in a material. But in these Celtic Cross readings, uh, it goes all over. Yeah. I say it how I feel it. So this could be a person to holding on things from the past. Yeah. You're keeping it in your back minds. I don't know why you say that in English. Okay. How others see you or want to see you. They see you having lessons in love. It could be a love, could be something too, but uh, this does not mean, well, it could mean romantic love, but it could be family too. Yeah. Lessons in life, I should say. Yeah, they see you as still growing. Okay. Hopes and fears. Definitely a fear. We have the Five of Cups. Regrets. Focusing on regrets in the past, specifically. Um, this is, to me, feeling like an energy of feeling that you are going to fail. Yeah. 
failing energy. So don't do that, okay? <laughs> That's the only thing I can um, advise you on. Yeah, don't, don't focus on failure, okay? Focus on winning. Make that happen. Okay, Virgo. The final outcome. Hmm. Now that's kind of conflicting in this uh, reading. But the final outcome, you have three of swords. This could be a heartbreak. Uh, it could also be a situation not working out the way that you wanted to. Uh, this doesn't mean everything, you know. Uh, this could be the energy like you are going to be successful in career. But in love life, it might not be the way that you wanted to. Okay. Or vice versa. And also you have a very unknown. Yeah, unknown. Uncertainty coming in your final outcome. Yeah, there's something that might not work out. Uh, and yeah, very unknown. Mysterious energy coming your way. Not knowing how to handle it is what comes to mind when I see this card in uh, the final outcome. So yeah, that's coming your way. So there you go, Virgo. These are your future cards. You're gonna be healing in some way. I wish fulfillment could be too. Something else might not work out for you the way that you want it to. And very unknown. This could also mean deception, this moon, but um, I feel that's more of a reverse energy, but it did not come out reverse, so very mysterious energy. Yeah. So there you go, that was it for Tarot. Let's see what the Angel Cards card is for you. Right, there we go. I can have her pick it up, yeah. Spread your wings, Archangel Ariel. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. Uh, uh, magician, make it happen. Okay, that's the advice. There you go. Whatever you focus on, focus is right now. Keep on going. Okay. You are taking action or something. Yeah, and the subconscious telling you to keep it up. So there you go, Virgo. Comment, like, subscribe, share, that'll be very much appreciated. Come check us out Sunday on the live stream together with my wife. Uh, we are Twin Flame couple and we are doing readings together. Yeah, live stream. So uh, if you're in town, you will receive a reading. So hit that notification bell and uh, yeah, so be in town. Yeah, that's the best advice I can give you. You can also donate to the channel, anything uh, that you feel is worth to this reading or personal reading, because I will be streaming in the evenings too, as much as I can. So give them personal readings. Um, yeah, donation based. So there you go. Bye bye, Virgo.